plants. Long ago, people used plants to make colorful dyes. They burned what? They boiled plants in water. Different plants give off different colors. For example, boiled acorns made a light brown, and beets made a bright pink. The skins for certain onions made an orange-colored dye. Once the dyes were ready, people dipped wool or other cloth into them. Okay. Number one. In this paragraph, the word dye must mean letter A, stop living, letter B, coloring, letter C, foods. Mm, so what is dye? Letter B. Mm. Ano sa ganin ng dye? Colorings? Ano sa ganin siya? Colorings sa mga deep na... Katong ilang, katong ganin ilang mga katas, ganin na sa katong, remember, katong sa flower, katong ginakuan, di ba? Itong red, tapos, ato ang siyang dipdok-dok, o oh, tapos may mo siyang green, may mo ang katong flower na bagay ni William, may mong red, same na siya, maunang ginagamit before, ganahin mong dye, kaya wala pa mas like crayons dati. Wala pa po sila ikat itong mga jubos. Number two. A good title for this paragraph would be letter A, color from plants, letter B, pink form beets, letter C, orange form onions. What do you think would be the best title for that um, paragraph or story? Colors from plant. Uh -oh. Colors from? Plant. What do you mean by that? Kangi, nagkulor ang... Ang plants ang dati ginahimu o. Ang plant, pwede siyang maging source dye. of... Dye. Dye or color. Mag sa ilang cloth. It means cloth, yung mga tela, mga ilang mga damit. Hmm. Number three. You can use that to dye letter A. But you both are never used in dyes. Letter B. There are other ways to dye cloth at our sea. Dyes are not as colorful as long ago. So what's the best answer? There are other ways to dye cloth. Also, mm. answer kayo other way to dye cloth? You see? Acorns. Oh, unsa na sila mga acorns, mga beets, unsa na sila? It's a? Plants. Yeah, you see plants as a dye. Okay, very good.